welcome to Psych Odyssey. Music is the language of the soul. For thousands of years, humans have been creating songs and symphonies which enthrall, inspire, and hypnotize. Our history and our culture is closely entwined with musical notes. It should come as no surprise that music has a profound effect on the human mind. We've all felt it before. Music helps us relax, it gives us goosebumps, and it encourages us to push ourselves to the limit. But what is the science behind all this? Here are some interesting psychological facts about music. Number 1. The Mozart Effect The Mozart Effect is one of the most popular scientific concepts surrounding music. It was developed by Dr. Gordon Shaw a few decades ago, and the premise is simple. Classical music makes you smarter. In his research, he claimed that listening to classical music can raise your IQ by up to 9 points. The main basis for this line of thought has to do with spatial reasoning. This type of brain activity is used in math, chess, engineering, and science. According to the Mozart effect, classical music boosts spatial reasoning considerably. Maybe it is time to start playing some Mozart while you study. Number 2. Music training can significantly improve cognitive and motor skills. We have encountered many parents encouraging their children to take part in the training of music or an instrument to improve their intellectual abilities. However, the study and practice of music is known to have a constructive influence on various sectors of life. One study showed that children who had three or more years of musical instrument training performed better in auditory discrimination abilities and fine motor skills than children with no training. They also performed better on vocabulary and nonverbal reasoning skills, which involve understanding and analyzing visual information, such as identifying relationships, similarities, and differences between shapes and patterns. Number 3. Music helps in managing pain and anxiety. Music therapy is a burgeoning field these days. It uses the power of music to cure people suffering from anxiety or depression by developing emotional responses. This helps them to relax, stimulate, and heal. Research on fibromyalgia patients according to VeryWellMind.com showed that people who listen to music approximately an hour a day experienced lesser pain than those who went for group rehabilitation. Number 4. Nature of the music can predict how we interpret neutral faces. Our music folder is filled with tracks that bring about pure euphoria or songs that instill overwhelming sadness among various other emotions. Interestingly, the role of music doesn't stop at the stage of emotions alone. Studies have shown that the tracks we listen to influence our interpretation of neutral faces and situations. It is observed that people elucidate neutral faces and experiences as happy or joyful after having listened to a cheerful track, and the contrary also applies. The association of expressions is mostly accurate with neutral scenarios, but it is known to happen for other facial expressions as well. Number 5. Music therapy helps repair brain damage. Brain damage is one of the most discussed topics in the world of psychology. Some people suffering from brain damage go through tremendous pain and discomfort, and their life is seriously impacted. But what if music could help? The research shows that music can actually repair brain damage, and it has been hypothesized that music therapy could be responsible for neurogenesis, which is the birth of new brain cells. Number 6. Your entire brain is activated when you listen to music. There aren't many activities that make your whole brain light up, but listening to music is definitely one of them. When you listen to music, there is not a single part of your brain that isn't activated. Parts of the brain that are responsible for emotions, creativity, and even motor functions are working while listening to music. So if you're looking for a full brain workout, simply put on your favorite song. Number 7. Your taste in music says a lot about your personality. Have you ever wondered why you like certain music? Have you ever wondered why your favorite songs might sound absolutely terrible to others? The answer lies in our unique personalities. Numerous studies have shown that if you like a certain musical genre, you're probably going to have certain personality traits. For example, a 2004 study found that extroverts were more likely interested in music in a general sense, but they were also more likely to enjoy pop music. That is just one example, and there is tons of research on this one topic. Think about your favorite song. What does it say about your personality? And finally, music therapy helps children with autism. 
Remember what we said about music lighting up the entire brain? Well, this makes music therapy an ideal choice for children with autism. When both hemispheres are activated, children are self-aware while still forming relationships with others. Research has shown that this type of therapy is incredibly beneficial for autistic children as it encourages them to interact with their instruments and communicate with others in a band, ultimately creating music in a collaborative effort. What do you think your favorite song says about you? Let me know in the comments below. If you have enjoyed this video, be sure to like and share it with others. Also consider subscribing to this channel and turn on the notifications bell. Thanks a lot for watching. See you soon. Thank you.